Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a flip through of my 2023 uh, bullet journal, which is my catch all planner for the first quarter of the year. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. As I said in my introduction, we're going to be doing a flip through of my catch-all planner for the first quarter of the year. We'll look at my intro pages, see which ones I'm using and not using, and then go into my monthly and weekly spreads. This is an Archer and Olive B5 notebook. I love using the B5 size for my catch-all. I feel like A5 is just a little bit too small for me, so B5 allows me space to use this very functionally, but also be able to decorate pretty easily as well. I have not put my name in this journal. <laughs> I'm not really a name in journal kind of a gal, but sometimes I do eventually get there. <laughs> uh, we do have my intro pages here. I went with a lost theme for this year because it is the year 2023 and 23 is one of the lost numbers. I do have my grid spacing guide with my little grid spacing ruler and then my year at a glance here. Next, I have my future log, which I have actually been using a bunch. I really love the way that this future log comes out. I got this idea from Joshi Curran, and it just works really, really well for me. I, Whenever I have something come up, I just pop it right in here. That way, when I do my monthly spreads, I have something to go based off of. It's wonderful. I love it. And then I do have my period tracker here, which I made a little error on for the month of February, but I have been utilizing. And then next we have my 2323s in 2023. There are definitely some things on here I have not done at all, like take a yoga class, do a vegan day. Um, there are some that I am slacking on a bunch, like movies watched. Um, and then there are some that I've already reached goal on, so that's really exciting. I do have my to watch and to listen to sheets here. As you can see, there's a lot of things listed under to watch, but I haven't really checked <laughs> them off. I've been very much focusing on reading and crafting and I have not been watching much in way of TV or movies. Um, I have been listening to my Heroes Reforged videos and my Chuck's Kins podcast. I love those two uh, YouTube channels. They're the same people. Um, they just have their main channel, which is Heroes Reforged, and then they have a separate channel now for their podcast, which is called the Chuck's Kins podcast. If you're into superhero related things at all, I highly recommend uh, checking them out. They're awesome. I do have my year in picture spreads, which I have not used yet. <laughs> I'm hoping that I do end up getting there, that I end up getting motivated enough to print pictures out. I just haven't done it yet. I'm not a big picture person and I know that about myself. So I feel like overall I should have known better than to do this spread, but I'm, I still want to be optimistic about it. Next, we get into my social media section, and I do have some personal information on this first page, so I am going to kind of flip past it, um, but we have my monthly spreads here, which I have been utilizing. Um, I have a color-coded system that I use, and I've been using some Zig Clean color dot markers as well, um, so that has been going really good, and I do have the rest of the ones uh, for the rest of the year, I need to take out my Oli clip, um, for the rest of the year in here, but I'm just not going to share those right now. Um, once we get done with my June spread for social media planning, because I only did the first six months in here, uh, we have just a little page that kind of introduces us to the actual planning section, monthly and weekly planning section for this planner. And I have my January cover page, my January quote page. I don't love the way this came out because it wasn't centered and I should have just extended this washi tape over or something. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I do love the colors in this. It gives me cozy winter vibes. I have my currently page, which I use my um, Everyday Explorers Co. stamps for and my one, uh, one page monthly, which I love. And then we get into my weekly spreads and I've been kind of going back and forth between using stickers and washi and then using stamps. Um, and I love that 
variety, you know. Obviously the sticker spreads are a little bit quicker for me to do and so sometimes those end up being good if I'm having a week where I'm feeling just a little bit rushed. Um, this one here was fun. I actually used some stamps and then colored in these florals with some acrylographs from Archer and Olive. And then we get into February, same kind of format in terms of the intro pages. I um, used stickers from According to Ally and then some washi tapes for my cover and quote page, my currently page, and then my one page monthly spread. And so you can really see here kind of how I use my monthly. I do put stickers from TCMC in each box for mood plan, um, mood tracking and then if I have something going on that day I just put a dot in that box and then the actual event is listed down here. Another washi spread, same with this one here. Went with some uh, stencils actually for this spread which I love but are really hard to use. <laughs> um, so yeah I don't use them very often. This was a really fun, I did a kind of like Dutch door spread here, which I've never really, I've never done this before. And I do like the way that this came out. I definitely want to do this type of layout again. And then we head into March. March is my birthday month. So I knew I wanted to use blush, alcohol, ink stickers, and anemone stickers from According to Allie. I love, love, love those by her. Um, and then we get into my currently page and my one page monthly spread. And then my weekly spreads. This was the week of my birthday. And so I really wanted to use this layout, which I love. And then my two favorite color Distress Oxides, which are the Victorian Velvet and Hickory Smoke. And then I went with more of a simple washi spread for the next week. And then I did two one-page spreads. I think I did maybe one one-page spread in my... Um, bullet journal for 2022 um, and it didn't actually come out the way I wanted it to but I kind of had this idea in mind and so I did it again for for this uh, spread and I really loved the way that this came out and then I tried something different for the next week I liked this as well um, so it's nice to know that like I can get away with one page spreads if I need to and then we have this week week 13 which I put it together and the deco did not come out the way I wanted it to. I needed to leave myself more room up here because I really had this idea of just doing tons of layers of different TCMC washi tape, incorporating all of the new washi tapes, and I just didn't give myself enough room to really do what I wanted, and I feel like that totally took my motivation away from actually using this spread this week, so I never touched it. I used my on-the-go planner instead. And then we have April, which I'm not going to share for now. We'll come back to that after the second quarter of the year. And that is it for my catch-all planner, my B5 Archer and Olive notebook. I hope you all enjoyed this flip through. I love using this, but I am getting a little frustrated with it at this point. I would say what I mean by that is I've been using a B5 bullet journal for catch-all planning for a year. I started uh, using a catch-all bullet journal in April 2022, and I just think I'm getting a little bored with the system. Um, I think I'm getting a little um, antsy with not having a layout already made for myself, with having to come up with a layout every week. And so I'm kind of thinking of switching things up. I have a hemlock and oak that is going to be coming at some point in the next few months. So I might transition into that. Who knows? But I do love the way that this looks for the first three months of the year. If you have any questions or comments about how I plan or the materials that I use, please don't hesitate to put them down below. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.